the birth of the United States of America and Governor Luis de Unzaga, like in Chilito. The enlightened and cosmopolitan Governor Luis de Unzaga, born in Malaga to a Basque father and an Italian mother, but also considered an American for his 45 years of residence in America and for being married to Elizabeth son Accent, who was born in New Orleans, was nicknamed the Conciliator for achieving various peace agreements during his time as the governor of Louisiana and shortly after. Firstly, in the early 1770s, following the Boston Massacre, he released the leaders of the Louisiana Revolution and soon after began to map out a network of spies to fully reconstruct and understand the events happened in Boston. In 1771, he created in New Orleans the world's first bilingual public education system. In 1773, after the Boston Tea Party, he reached peace agreements with the Native Americans, allowing more free trade for tributaries of the Mississippi such as the Ohio. Following that, in 1775, he increased his military presence in the Mississippi with the idea of protecting the free trade that he allowed with the American colonists. At the end of 1775, with the massive arrival of British troops that repressed and besieged Boston, Unzaga saw the need to secretly support the American colonists in their pursuit of independence. To do so, he strengthened his spy network. In April 1776, Unzaga became a pioneer in responding to requests for help from the American Continental Army. First by giving refuge to several ships pursued by other British warships and by offering supplies to the secret committee via Paul Gibson. Then responding to the requests of General Lee. In May 1776, and to those of Patrick Henry, a founding father of the United States, who promised Luis that if he continued to help, Spain would find a faithful ally in the United States. This is how Unzaga provided first aid, tons of gunpowder, blankets, sanitary materials, uniforms and flour, to the settlers, through the Mississippi River and the Ohio River to Fort Pitt, today's Pittsburgh, under the Spanish flag, in order to prevent being detected by the English and utilizing the help of his cousin, Diego de Cardoqui, an act which became massive in granting Washington's first victories. In 1777, he left the Louisiana government entirely to his brother-in-law, Bernardo de Galvez, who was also from Malaga. That same year, Unzaga created the Captaincy General of Venezuela with a defense plan so that the English could not trade and instead did allow free trade for North American ships so that supplies could be delivered to the Continental Army. In 1782, he was appointed Captain General of Havana, where he used this privileged position to participate in, in coordinating the Operations Army, which was already officially at war against England, and where he continued to manage material and military aid effort in favor of the United States. Between 1783 and 1785, Unzaga received several requests from the United States founding fathers, George Washington and Robert Morris, to free trade with the US. Thanks to Unzaga's intervention with bills of exchange from bankers like Otox, they afforded to pay the Continental Army, thus avoiding a rebellion in its ranks that would have endangered the peace between the rising United States and England. In the interval between the end of the war and the Peace Treaty of Paris, taking use of his recognized diplomatic and conciliatory skills, he received along with pyrotechnics and other entertainment the visit of Prince William of England, future King William IV, at his residence in Havana which visit served to exchange prisoners and to announce the preliminary of La Paz, exchanging Bahamas for Florida and ordering Unzaga to have the Spanish ambassador announce the end of the war in the US and in the rest of the continent. 
For all of this, Unzaga deserves to be recognized as an honorable citizen of the United States and to bring the cities of New Orleans and Malaga to a fellowship together. <laughs>